What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Big Fry. Welcome to the channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content. If not, just strap in because this video, I'm about to go in a little bit. This game is called Burst Fire. I got the email for it about a week ago with an alpha code. This is like their E3 alpha test, so a bunch of people got the codes. You can jump in, you can play for whatever it is, the week of E3, and maybe another week on after that. I'm not even sure. Um, it's being developed by a company called Nacho Games, and I've never I've never heard of these guys. I just know that some of these guys came from the game called Hawken, which was like a mech uh, team-based shooter. That's not my issue. My issue is who is publishing the title. It is being published by Free Reign Entertainment. Now, a lot of you guys are out there probably thinking, well, who the fuck is Free Reign Entertainment? Free Reign are the guys who developed Romero's Aftermath. And if you guys haven't seen my video on Romero's Aftermath, I'm going to put it up at the top here. Click that annotation. Watch that video before you watch this video. I'm just going to pause for a sec. Go watch it. Come back. So Romero's Aftermath was essentially the same exact game as Infestation Survivor Stories. Um, so, in turn, these guys made War Z. These guys made Infestation Survivor Stories. They made Romero's Aftermath. They made uh, Big Rigs, which was a fucking terrible game. These guys are known for putting out shitty fucking games. And I'm, I'm going to be blunt about it. Their games are absolute garbage. There are games that they put out that are in early states and they never get finished. Now, they're not developing this game. I'm not going to throw any of this, this um, criticism onto Nacho Games. Those guys, um, I guess they decided to get in bed with this publisher. I don't know why. They, as industry professionals, should have known who these people were. Um, my issue is with Free Reign Entertainment. So looking at this, this is a 5 versus 5 tactical game, you know, versus terrorists. You gotta attack and defend. Um, Slow-paced tactical shooter. So I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna show you guys the settings here before we go. Uh, there's gonna be an annotation. Just feel free to click that. It'll take you right to the gameplay, but I'm gonna go through the settings here quick. So you got all this stuff here. You can toggle a bunch of stuff here. The, the, I gotta say, uh, I'm just gonna hit apply. The settings are actually pretty good. I'll give them that, the, the menus, there's a lot to change, um, controls you can remap and everything. Pretty fucking solid. Um, <laughs> but now let's, let's go play the game, because <sighs> this is, this is unreal. So we're playing on a map called Compound, and yeah, essentially it's a 5 versus 5, uh, attack and defend. You got the guys inside the compound who have to set up defenses, and then you got guys who have to attack. Um, it sounds like Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah, so it's a five versus five hostage rescue game mode, no respawn. When we, uh, on the attacking side, the attackers, uh, they need to get break into the, uh, the, enemy, uh, the enemy stronghold and, and escort the hostage uh, to safety outside. And on the defender side, they have to withstand the attacker's assault. And I got that vibe from their website, from the emails they were sending. It sounds like Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get in here. So you are attacking. All right, so here we go. So we start off, we get equip tool one and two. So you got breach, charge, and bolt, bolt cutters. You can choose the drone, the UGV, hacking device, ammo cache, or a deployable device that erects a large freestanding bulletproof barrier. I'm just going to roll with these two here. So, so essentially you start off the game. All right, guys, let's find this. You start off the game and you're, you're essentially a little robot. You can see his robot here. Um, so we're looking for the for the intel. We got to go in. We got to find the in this game We're actually hacking so we got to find the device to hack So these guys on this team are trying to set up defenses so we can see where they're placing all their stuff And we can essentially just gather Intel while they're doing this so it looks like uh, The Intel has been spotted right here So this is our objective. This is where we have to go All right so once this uh, part of the game is done, as these guys are prepping for us to attack, we uh, we can we can go in. So here's our team here. So okay, so now we get to choose our frag grenades, flashbangs, guns, and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna choose here. I've already voted to start in the courtyard. Um, Let's move out, boys, and secure the intel. So. Right, first thing you notice is uh, the graphics aren't that great. 
Uh, I'm obviously we're early access or we're alpha, I should say. So we're not even. I'm not even focusing on that. What I want to focus on right now is the gameplay, and I'm gonna play for a bit um, without really commentating. I want you guys to just take in what you see, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys my opinions here. So let's just let's just play for a bit. All right, gonna try that again, tossing frag with this poor ass frame rate. Move in, move in, move in. All right, mine's down. Move in, guys. Move in, move in, move in. God damn it, we lost Stalinsky. Oh shit. Oh shit. Team fire. Honestly, this game is an exact carbon copy of Rainbow Six Siege. And I'm going to show the defending side, and I'm going to show you guys what the fuck I'm actually talking about. Let's just do this one here. So watch this. So barricade goes up. Barricade goes up. This guy's putting a mine up. The only thing that separates this from Rainbow Six Siege is Rainbow Six Siege is in a better state. Everything else has been totally ripped off. Now, as Nacho Games, how do you justify what you're doing? It's obvious, and you guys knew you guys knew it coming out of the gate that you were going to take flack for looking exactly like a game that has been announced and is coming out from a AAA publisher. Why? Why did you even decide to go this route? I was watching the live stream and they were saying that they, they want to take their own spin on it and that they, they, they played Siege and they thought it was a good game, but they think they can do it their own way. You guys haven't done anything like that. I don't care if you're an alpha or not. You put the game out to public. People played it. People said it, it's, it's the poor man's Rainbow Six Siege. And then the guys on there, and I've heard this multiple times from another specific developer that I'm not going to name but you guys probably already know he's sitting there talking about how negative feedback isn't good and people in chat a bunch of fucking white knights saying well if you're going to be negative about it there's no point in you being in the stream and I'm sitting there watching the recap and I'm like oh man I've heard this before it's fucking ridiculous the fact that free reign is the publisher the fact that they're using the Eclipse engine, which is Free Reign's proprietary engine, they force that shit on Romero's Aftermath, War Z, um, everything. I knew it. As soon as I played it, I was like, this kind of feels like War Z shooting, and I said that on stream. I was like, I'm not sure if it's using the same engine or not. Went back and watched the, uh, the developer's stream. It is. And I just, I can't believe that they didn't expect to get flack for this. You ripped off Ubisoft. You ripped off Rainbow Six Siege. And you don't think anybody should talk negative to you? This this isn't a fucking fantasy where you can keep pushing out game after game after game and have them all be garbage. If you can't make a fucking game and you have to steal people's ideas and then do a shitty version of it, try to push it out so people can buy it, you need to get the fuck out of the industry. You just do. Nobody wants Sergey Titoff to fucking be running this. And that's the guy who owns Free Reign Entertainment. He owned Hammer Point Interactive. He made big rigs. And he needs to leave the industry because he has no business being here because all he is is a fucking scam artist. He does not deserve anybody's money. And if you guys go out and buy this after seeing this video or seeing other people's videos and you can't put it through your fucking head that this is a complete ripoff of another title in that same genre coming out in the same year, then you guys have no hope. You need to look at this and you need to open your guys' eyes. If you guys are fans of this game and you don't see the complete fucking ripoff scam that this is turning into, you guys are crazy. Now, I sent an email out to Nacho Games and Free Reign to see if they could come on for an interview on the podcast. I'm retracting that completely. After playing the game and after seeing what they're doing, I have absolutely no inkling to support this studio. Uh, Nacho Games, look at this game. It's Nacho Game. It's fucking Rainbow Six. Hands down. This is unreal. I... Uh...
I can't believe it. And the fact is, is people are going to buy this anyway, and that's what blows my mind. This guy can run businesses and companies and change names and constantly try to hide his past, and it doesn't work, but people still support him anyway. That's what's crazy. Um, I'm done talking. This company can go fuck themselves. And I'm sorry, Nacho Games, that you guys are getting caught in the crossfire with this, but it was inevitable, and you guys should have known that. You knew who you were getting in bed with. I'm sorry to say you knew what War Z was. You knew it got pulled off of Steam after two days. You knew what it was, and you took the money anyway for a paycheck. And do I blame you? You need to live. You need to eat. You need to feed your families. But this was not the way to go because this game is already dead on arrival. As soon as people realize that the people who made War Z are involved with another game, it's over. And you guys, you, you fucked up. Simple as that. I'm done. Guys, follow me on Twitter, at TV. All the links are down in the description below. Leave a comment. If you guys made it this far in the video, it's the end of the video, use the keyword SCAM. And let me know if you guys have been fucked you. over by developers in the past. Put it down in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. I just thought that I should warn everybody now, this is fucking garbage.